the wheel of life is turning from life to death and further to the new birth. That's why the holiday of winter historically symbolized the dying of the old and the birth of the new. The most important days in winter period were winter solstice days, starting from the 25th of December till the 6th of January. And these days were called Kalinda and had some special sacred meanings and legends behind. So today we are going to get deep to the story of Kalinda, why it was so important, who was Kalinda and how it is connected with Halloween. Hi, I'm Stacy, and we are talking about the other side of Russia. <laughs> So grab something strong, make yourself comfortable and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell, not to miss anything. And we are starting. Slavic people had four main days, four major holidays of the year. Spring equinox, Maslinica, summer solstice, Kupala, autumn equinox, Radogosh and winter solstice Kalinda. Every point here is the beginning of a new time, of the new year and new period in nature. 25th of December, winter solstice, the shortest day of a year, the month named Studin, the turn of a sun to the springside, the birth of a young god, Kalinda. This day is usually connected with heavy frosts. Maros from the word moro means death. Our ancestors considered Kalinda as a young god, one of sons of Dashtbog, a newborn son, who was depicted as a baby. The coming of Kalinda was preceded by Karachun the god of winter and death of all living. Slavic people never celebrated dark Karachun days, but worshipped it and hold special rituals and ceremonies to purify themselves and leave the past behind. These days, it was last three days of the solar cycle, were considered one of the most dangerous periods with lots of problems, quarrels and illnesses. But soon the holiday of rebirth come, the celebration of the victory of a light over dark forces, Kalinda. According to Slavic mythology, the god Kalinda was born by the Maya Zlatagorka, the first wife of Dashtbo. Maya Zlatagorka, gone to the knife world, the world of the dead, failed to fulfill her main purpose. She didn't give a birth to a child who would become the new incarnation of a supreme god. Then Rod asked Makash, goddess of lifeline and faith, to change her life and let her soul return to the world of the living for a while. This way, gods set the order right to let Kalinda, the young son, appear to the world. Maya Zlatagorka was hidden in Pinyashk's caves to save her from chaos and let her safely give birth to a son. The right day, Maya gave birth to her two sons, Kalinda the god of winter sun, and Avsein, the god of autumn sun, and from now on they were following one after another. The birth of Kalinda was a very important event in Slavic pagan mythology. Gods were afraid that people could turn their ways from Prav, the world of gods, so even dark gods were helping him to appear to the world because the main mission of the knife world 
is to separate Yav and Prav from chaos. Kalinda was highly respected among magicians. According to a legend, young Kalinda gained 60 magicians from different people and gave them knowledges how to follow the way of Prav, the world of God. He taught people time so they could plan not living in the one day, but to think of the result of their actions for the future. On the 25th of December, Kalinda turned the sun to spring. Kolo means Kruk, circle, the shape of the sun. But the night of 25th of December was the shortest and one of the most dangerous. The celebration of demons and evil forces. This night everything was covered with frosty mist and seemed dead. And this night people were trying to spend as fun as possible to take away all the evil and to summon spring. They were wearing the costumes of wild animals with masks and went from house to house asking for food or money wishing all the best, singing songs, dancing and attracting the crowd to their celebrations. This performance called Kalyatki and it's still common among some Slavic people, but mostly such traditions were transformed and moved a bit to the new year. The main ritual was a sacrifice of a goat and further ritual spells in the honor of sun. The Slavic people hold the ritual meal kutia, the sweet rice with raisin, and cookies in the form of cattle. Usually the holiday is finished by games and great performance. Young Slavic people were meeting the sun, jumping through the fire, raising burning wells and having fun saying goodbye to the coldest and scariest period of the year. It was so-called Slavic New Year. Later those traditions and symbols were changed a lot, replaced by Christianic scenes and motives of a Jesus birth. The idea of a sunbirth was lost, replaced by the idea of another god appear to the world. All the pagan rituals were removed or adopted by new time traditions and celebrations. The idea of this day in all religions, no matter who you are and where are you from, we are all united in celebration of birth of a new sun, the new life and upcoming worms. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, give this thumbs up or down as you feel it to be, subscribe the channel if you aren't already and leave the comment down below. That's inspired me to move further. Happy holidays everyone and I'm leaving you now for so long. See you in the next video. Bye!